So first of all, what we need to do is we need to plug our camera into the computer and uh, ensure our camera's on the correct setting to allow it to connect to the computer. Um, you may have to check in the manual for the actual camera to find out which setting you need to set the camera to to enable it to connect to the PC. Once you've turned the camera on and you've uh, selected the correct setting, a box may appear on the screen or even several boxes may appear on the screen. Um, if anything pops up on the screen after selecting turning the camera on, then just simply click the cross in the top right hand corner to close the box down. Next we need to double click on the Picasa icon on the desktop to open up Picasa and Picasa then opens up. Then we need to click on the import button which is in the top left hand corner of the Picasa screen. You'll notice, hopefully, it should start uh, showing you photos from the camera. If uh, it doesn't, then you can click on this little um, drop-down arrow in the uh, left-hand, uh, right-hand corner, sorry, of the Import From box and select the device that you wish to uh, import from. Nine times out of ten, it will select the, uh, the, the correct uh, camera. Now we need to decide whether we are going to put all of the pictures on the camera in one folder together on the computer or whether we'd like to separate them. For instance, if you had uh, pictures on the camera which were from different days, different events, different holidays, then maybe you wouldn't want to put them all together in the same place on the computer. You wouldn't want to mix them up. You want to keep them separate. Um, so. If, uh, for instance, you wanted to import everything from the, uh, the camera and it was all to do with one subject, then simply all you do is you just check down the bottom of the screen here that Import 2 has My Pictures in the box. This is the typical place that you'd save your pictures to on um, any Windows-based computer. Next thing is to click into Folder Title and you'd give the... Uh, the a, a name for the collection of pictures. So for instance, if it was for a holiday in Tenerife, you'd type in Tenerife, and then maybe the year that you uh, you visited Tenerife, which the pictures are from, so Tenerife 2011. It's entirely up to you what you put in the folder title, but it obviously makes sense to make it something that's descriptive to, to what the pictures are. The next thing you do is you just click the import all button and that will save your photos to the Tenerife 2011 folder which is in the my pictures folder on your computer. If however you've got different pictures on the camera card which pertain to different events, different holidays, then you might want to put them in separate folders. So to do that what you do is you highlight the pictures that you want to uh, move across first. So say for instance, I wanted to uh, move these pictures of, uh, of, of this mountain, say, um, set and keep them separate from the other pictures in the, uh, in the computer. So what I would do is I'd hold down the control key or the CTRL key, which is usually the key that is in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard and I just select the photos that I want to move across. So when I've selected them, you can see that there's a blue line around the outside. Now to select the photos, it's just simply clicking on the left mouse button whilst you have the control key held down. Now keep your finger on the control key until you've selected all of the photos that you want to select to go into this particular group. So. I've selected these two photos. Next thing I want to do is I want to give the folder a title. So um, I can't remember the name of this mountain, but we'll just call it Mountain 2011. Okay, so I'll just check. Yep, it's going to go to my pictures and it's going to put it in a folder called Mountain 2011. And after copying, we want to leave the pictures on the card. Don't want the computer to delete them. It's safest to leave the card alone just in case there's a problem transferring the pictures across or you lose where you're putting those, those photos. Um, leave them on the card and delete them manually from the camera once you're sure you've got the, uh, the, the pictures on your computer. 
So the next thing I need to do is I need to click Import Selected. And as you can see, there's actually a number to the right of Import Selected, the number two. That means that I'm going to be importing just two photos, which is correct. There's only two photos of the mountain that I want to, uh, to import. So I'll click Import Selected. OK. Those pictures are now being imported into Picasa. And as you can see, it's now actually made a little um, section called Mountain 2011. So now I wanna go back and I wanna import the rest of the photos. So again, in the top left-hand corner, I click on Import. It's picked up the digital camera from the top there. If it hasn't, then again, you can click on that list and select your digital camera if it's not shown already there. As you can see, the two pictures of the mountains now have got these circles with red crosses in them. And that basically is telling us that those pictures have already been uh, transported across onto the computer. Now I want to import the rest of the photos across and I want to import them into a separate folder. I want to keep them separate from the pictures of the mountain. So basically all I do is I hold down the control key, which is the key which is in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard. It may be described as CTRL on your keyboard. And with the control key held down, I left click on each of the photos, the remaining photos that I want to drag across to this separate folder. So as you can see, I'm clicking these across now. And as I'm clicking them, a blue, li a blue um, line is going around the outside of the box. So I've selected all that I want to, uh, want to select. So I let go of the control key. Okay, check down the bottom here that it's going to my pictures. That's correct. And now we I want to uh, choose the title for the folder that I want these to go in. So I'm going to call this Tenerife 2011. And again, I want to make sure that I'm leaving the pictures on the card because I want to make sure that they've come across to the computer okay before deleting them off of the camera card. So we'll leave that as leave the card alone. And then I want to click Import Selected which as you can see has got the number 17 beside it. And that means there's 17 photos that I'm going to import across. So I click Import Selected. OK, and there you go. Now the pictures have come into uh, Picasa and they can be found under folders on the left hand side. So if I click Mountain there, there's the pictures of the mountain. Click above and there's the pictures of Tenerife. And if I wanted to open any of these pictures to uh, to, to view them, I can double click on the uh, on the picture and that opens it up in a, in a larger window. Um, I've got some basic sort of uh, tuning effects that um, I can use here to, to change the picture a little bit, to maybe brighten it up, give it a bit more color. If it's too bright, darken it down, remove red eye. There's a few things to play with here. I won't go into any detail on these at the moment. Really, your best bet is really to have a play with these yourself. If you wanted to print the photo, uh, that you've got on the screen then you've got a little print button at the bottom there you can just click on that and follow uh, through the, uh, the the screens that appear once you've finished with the picture um, you can click on back to library up there in the top left hand corner and that takes you back to all of your other pictures